I feel like you should never talk about your friends in public the way you talk to them in private. If you have a certain type of humor, a certain type of relationship with your friends that's kind of a bit you know it's always kind of edging on the side of personal you shouldn't let that side of your relationship come out in public it should be something you just say for your friendship like if you joke a certain way your friendship should leave it personal i have a feeling that brendan might be like secretly jealous of theo vaughn i know this is not like a hot take we all kind of think this way but i'm now starting to really think there is a hint of jealousy in brendan with Theo specifically because of how he's been able to kind of schmooze his way into the UFC because you know Theo was never a UFC guy if you remember the early episode of King of the Sting when Theo used to ask Brendan about questions about his career in the UFC and what it was like Theo used to talk like from a point of fear like oh, I hate fighting that gives me anxiety like he legitimately doesn't like he didn't like it to begin with he thought it was really barbaric and shit so the fact that Theo has now got into the good graces of the UFC and has now become a fan of the UFC, a friend of the UFC. Dana loves him. The organization fucking clearly loves him because they got him all over the content and he's always at the fucking shows and he's, his tweets always go up on screen and shit. I think that kind of irks Brendan because he knows Theo never liked the thing and now he's now doing, he's now doing the thing that he's doing better than him because this clip is giving big hater energy. This is supreme level of hater energy, in my personal opinion. I don't know if you guys agree, but I think this is strong, strong hater energy. So again, big up the person for the final kid, subreddit for uploading this, but Brendan does, is really jealous of fucking Theo. Super jealous of him. Look at when, you know, if you look at Schultz, shit, four years ago, he never had an MMA, he never talked MMA, didn't have an MMA gay on. Yeah. Now he has, you know, the guys on. Chrissy D, you got, you got freaking... All Even them. Theo started having MMA guys on. I think it's because of you, dude. You say Rogan, but I'm pretty sure it's because of you. You're the actual MMA guy. You were actually in MMA. <laughs> yeah. Theo, for sure. Obviously, me and Theo are very close. So, Theo got into MMA. Theo's posts, man, just still <laughs> drive me nuts. This is Twitter things? Yeah. You see, yeah. Uh, here's a quick one. This is a little weird. I don't know. If that's my friend and they're doing well, I'm not going to speak to you like that. I speak about you like that in public. Maybe in private, I might say that. Oh my God, man, your tweets are so cringe. Look at you fucking sucking Dana's dick or something, right? As like a joke in person. But I'm not going to let that be known in public because it comes across like you're hating. Because we don't know the relationship. We don't know how you guys joke. We don't hear Theo talk about you that way. So it kind of sounds a bit one-sided and he's always mentioning it. It clearly is something that obviously bothers him and gets under his skin. But a part of me, I think someone mentioned here, I think Crash did it, right? Yeah. Uh, Dana doing his, his bit to spite Papa. We all know, because as much as I dislike Dana as like a business person and leader at UFC with the fire pay and stuff, it's annoying. But aside from that, we all know Dana is a fucking spiteful person, right? We all know he's a petty, petty person. There's a part of me that also thinks, I wonder if Dana, as much as fucking feels amazing when it comes to ufc content and interviews has his fighters in rapport with them and everything in general i wonder if it's a part of dana that purposely went out of his way to welcome you feel into the ufc family knowing his relationship with fucking feel with brendan so and knowing how much it'll get under brendan's skin i wonder if this was like a masterful 4d chess move from fucking dana to get under brendan's skin by embracing Theo with open fucking arms open door policy anyone from our roster you want to interview you can change your room footage go in and get it i mean your tweets always go up on the fucking big screen you always get good seats you don't even have to ask i'm sure Theo's to a point now he doesn't need rogan to get tickets anymore he gets tickets directly from them bro do you know what i mean like that's how in he's in i wonder if dana just knew that and purposely like come on Theo, we like you because he knows that it's going to get under Brendan's skin because Brendan is like, it really bothers Brendan that Theo is part of the UFC like that. And it's weird to me. I find it odd because you never really hear him celebrating, you know, Theo's wins the way he probably should as a friend. He's always coming across a little bit jealous. Or why is it him? Because he doesn't really fucking care about the sport, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he's, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I got a feeling Dana might have done this on purpose. So as much as Theo's doing well and he's done it himself for his hard work and blah, 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 I also got a feeling Dana kind of noticed a good opportunity to just, you know, put another put another number up on the scoreboard against Brendan. Because, you know, let's be fair as well to Dana. Dana's got every reason to hate Brendan, especially if, you know, if what he said about them being fucking, you know, what you call them, Eskimo Brothers was true. He essentially outed Dana <laughs> yeah, during their beef and shit. So Dana's got every reason to hate him. So maybe he's like, look, I'm going to kill you forever, but I'm going to do it subtly. And one of the ways I'm going to do it, I'm going to embrace all your friends, but not you. <laughs> because I've got a feeling Dana's this petty. I've got a feeling if Theo, ever, if, Theo and Dana, if Theo and Brendan ever went to a UFC fight night together, a live UFC event, I've got a feeling Dana would be the type to legitimately get Brendan escorted from that arena in front of everybody with Theo and leave Theo there. I'm sure Dana's that kind of person. He's that petty. He's that vindictive. He would legitimately let them both walk in, <laughs> sit down, take their pictures and get a security to escort Brendan out of the building. <laughs> I swear to God he would. I swear that's how much she hates the guy so i don't know um brendan is i don't know i get the feeling brendan's jealous of fiona which is really lame to see to be fair because the, the guy had every opportunity to be a successful you know mma ufc commentator guy whatever talking head and he kind of fucked it really himself so he, he has no one else to blame if now the whole content game and the whole you know thing around that has changed now and people just want different types of things they don't really care about having insights from maybe former fighters if they're not charismatic don't have an interesting point of view it, you know it's, it's kind of changed that's why maybe the fear thing makes sense because fear when he's speaking to these fighters he kind of disarms them because of how funny he is how chill he is he doesn't really know much about the sport so they can actually have real conversations so you know brendan can't have those conversations because you know you know man's a bit redacted so it is what it is 